Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, the severe weather continues today after yesterday's swarm of storms. I mean, we had two tornadoes touch down not far from where I am, and a third one was spotted in the sky. Uh, and I actually got some video of some some of the storm out there. You can check it out here on YouTube. But uh, uh, number one, there was a tornado confirmed, and more dangerous storms are ahead. Uh, a tornado was confirmed in Kansas already this morning with no injuries and major damage. It was a huge tornado. Meteorologist uh, Daniel Banks explains uh, in a review that it was a huge tornado and there's several uh, and severe outbreaks are continuing. A multi-day severe weather outbreak continues as today with expansive threat of severe thunderstorms from the Ohio Valley and Tennessee Valley to the East Coast, thanks to an unstable air interacting with an unseason unseasonably strong and active jet stream. Also, a Dreco straight line winds swept through several states uh, yesterday with widespread wind damage developing in North Dakota, Minnesota, also, in Sunday afternoon, there continued a long and unbroken southwestern march um, going across these, uh, these areas I just mentioned, uh, Ohio Valley and, and Tennessee Valley, all the way to the East Coast. There was 500 reports of thunderstorm wind damage or high winds that came into the National Weather Service offices um, Sunday afternoon. There was a lot more on Monday, including a tornado reported in northwest of Lafayette, Indiana last night. Of course, we know that's true. Uh, there was two of them, and, and a third was spotted. Serious flash flooding was also reported in parts of Ohio Valley and the Appalachian Mountains, prompting evacuations in Jackson, Ohio, shutting down a stretch of New York State, thoroughway between exit 60 and 61 near the Pennsylvania border. Also, West Virginia had massive floodings. Uh, also, there was, I mean, this just goes on and on and on, folks. It was just an incredible uh, display of things that took place yesterday, and it continues today. So we will continue to, to monitor these things, keep an eye on them, as this, again, these extreme weather conditions continue to break out around the world but specifically America has extreme drought in California and the West Coast area and massive flooding and rains and storms and tornadoes and straight line winds, I mean, all across Texas and the Plains, the Midwest, the South, all the way into the East Coast. It just doesn't end. And it's been an incredibly unusually um, uh, extreme um, conditions that no one's used to. And as this atmospheric compression continues to affect the earth, we're getting those extremely fast jet streams. And here's why you're getting them. The jet streams are lower. So these, these what was normally high jet streams are pushing down, pushing everything down. And that's because of these waves of energy, which folks, the first of five major waves of energy will truly come aboard, if you will, the first ripple uh, around August 17th coming up in just a few weeks. And that's why you're feeling more and more intensity. That's why there's more earthquakes. That's why there's more volcanic activity. That's why there's more straight line winds and tornadic activity. And all of these things, uh, these are all part of the end time apocalyptic signs, the catastrophic uh, events that are taking place uh, here in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We'll talk about all this today in our live broadcast at 12 noon Eastern. I want to see you at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. 12 noon Eastern. Jesus coming.